It seems like we're constantly getting the opportunity to check out new blasters in the gel blaster category or water BBs or whatever you wanna call them. And they were kind enough to not only give a discount code to my viewers, but also to sponsor this video and send over a sample for me to check out. So these are available online only and whereas most of these have been relatively the same shell design and internals, this is something completely different uh, using a similar sort of mechanism. I mean, it's gonna be a full auto gel blaster blasting product, but uh. Completely different shell design, completely different guts, and that'll become apparent very, very quickly. And overall, slightly lower capacity than a lot of the stuff we've reviewed recently, but still a complete kit. When you consider that this complete kit is coming in at about $70, plus the discount code puts it closer to 60, it actually winds up being a relatively affordable way to get into this if you've been looking for your kind of vector to break into gelet or gel ball blasting uh, in general. Hard to mistake that shell, that is a, uh, that's a scorpion. And it's actually, the build quality of the blaster is quite good. Um, the build quality of the grip is a little, uh, a little soft. Uh, this is just relatively cheap. The rest of it feels like Nerf plastic or Dart Zone Pro plastic. This, on the other hand, feels like something Worker would have done. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty sturdy. So it's right now, it's locked in the forward kind of like sub gun configuration, but if you want to take it and turn it into SBR, well, it's not firing nine millimeter. This is a solid steel, almost coat hanger style thing. And it's definitely, you can put a lot of weight into that. Pretty cool. All things considered and it <laughs> flips forward. <laughs> ah. Kind of makes you feel like you should hop on your motorcycle and go uh, start beef with Dominic Toretto, if you know what I'm saying. But you can pull this out and the blaster comes with a litany of accessories. Some of them are a little silly, but most of them I think are relatively cool. Uh, so you've got a suppressor or faux suppressor. That's what this thing was on here. It kind of connects that to that so that you could do that and you could suppress your fire, so to speak. Uh, it comes with 5,000 rounds of capacity, which is enough to load its drum 10 times. The drum does hold 500 rounds of ammo. It does not have its own dedicated motor system or gear system. It seems like whatever's pushing the rounds up and through the system is using this kind of gearbox to agitate them up and in, and that's being actuated by a box inside here. The little red dot sight is neither holographic nor a red dot sight. It's really just a flashlight going up into a translucent uh, film up here with, you know, the, uh, the requisite sort of targeting reticle on it. Now, at the end of the day, these have always been accuracy by volume. One thing about it that is a little funny, maybe a little short-sighted, is that when you have the magazine in, there's this included foregrip. The only pick rail uh, that I could think of to put it on, since you've got pick rail up top, is up here. And obviously if you put the grip right here, you would have nowhere to, you couldn't, you couldn't grip it because the magazine <laughs> gets in the way. Now, of course you could throw it on as a stabilizer onto the side so that you could go Omega gangster mode. But uh, all of that aside, I don't think that we'll be fooling with that. Blaster is powered by a Lion battery, not a LiPo, a lithium ion battery. It's a two cell. It's gonna charge via this included uh, USB like so. Uh, it looks like there's a protection circuit inside the USB, but I would keep an eye on this anyway. Once you've got that done, it's going to connect in here in the grip, distributes the weight just a little bit differently, and then the blaster itself has an on-off switch in the back. When it's on, it fires only in full auto. There is no safety, and when it's off, it doesn't do anything, so you could think of that maybe as the safety. There's a faux selector switch all over this kind of anarchy in the UK hydro dip job that it's got going on. This is the red version, although it definitely looks a little bit Dega to me. And then this screw port here is your magazine release. You can see almost like a AR style. Uh, when you push this forward, that drops out like that and the magazine releases. Now we've got this drum magazine. We've got these rounds. You're gonna have to pre-plan for four hours because it's about how long it takes to fully hydrate these balls. Keep in mind that this only holds 500 and this is 5,000. You got plenty of ammo to play for a while, even if this thing gets its quoted rate of fire of eight balls per second. So ergonomically, definitely a little bit of a pseudo primary. Aesthetically, definitely a little dangerous. And I think that we'd be remiss not to acknowledge that. You wouldn't want to be playing with this in a public park, but at a gel soft arena or, you know, in your backyard, I think that this is fine. The all black suppressor was an interesting choice. This uh, this definitely is the kind of thing where if you wanted to play with it at some sort of event, and I'm still trying to figure out if there's any sort of, you know, water BB event in the States that I could go to that would be valuable or uh, interesting to, to attend. I would put a bunch of orange tape on either the, the nozzle here or the suppressor and leave the suppressor on just because the fact that it's all black is a little, uh, a little wild to me. But with all that aside, I think that the safety glasses, while they'd be fine for gel soft, 
are honestly of a very, very low quality. However, I don't want to rib on them too hard. It's ultimately about a $60 package. It comes with a charger. It comes with enough round to load itself twice. It comes with safety glasses, a foregrip, the blaster itself, and a magazine. I mean, I think that it, it's definitely a whole kit and caboodle, so to speak. So even if the goggles aren't amazing, if you're really into it, you've already got dedicated goggles. And if you're not really into it, you're the exact kind of person who might not wear goggles. And so by including them, uh, you're definitely saving some people's ocular uh, receptors. So let's jump cut through the magic of YouTube, swell these up to their full, uh, full consistent sizing. Um, and charge up our Lion battery. Let's go. All right, so we got our GAT out here and uh, the foregrip basically unusual, but we've loaded up our 500 rounds. We're ready to go. We're locked, cocked, and uh, let's flip it into the on position, throw our chronograph on. Overall, I mean, like I've said before, this is a less expensive version of a lot of the other uh, water BB guns that I've reviewed and at a lesser expensive kind of version. We need to know what kind of FPS and what kind of rate of fire it gets. Uh, the others floated about 8 and 220. This one's doing about... So it looks like mid 80s in the sense of its overall FPS. And frankly, like that means that this is going to be a far more gentle experience in terms of your gel blasting. Uh, in regards to the 8 darts per second or the 8 balls per second BPS, uh, I think that this is significantly slower. It's maybe four. So you're going to conserve ammo. You're not going to dump it as far. And it's definitely not going to hurt as bad when you get hit with it. Now, the company was kind enough to send me uh, not only this kind of red uh, version, but also there is a blue version Give of me the... this one, boy. Oh, boy. Reach for the sky. I got to turn it off. Oh, Reach yeah. for the sky. That's right. Wait, wait, Bubba. Put yours over the That's chronograph. right. I'll put it over real good for you, Drecky boy. Mine shoots harder. So Bobo's is hitting about 100 FPS Team harder. Red is for losers, kids. Are you gonna stand there? Are you gonna actually, are you gonna actually like... All right. Well, now we're shooting chicken. Okay, cool, do it. <laughs> this is like, it's so gentle. It is kind of gentle. I can see you can do it. Wait, 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 stop. <laughs> I want to know, reach into your pocket. I want you to... What's in my pocket? Is, oh, did I get any in there? Like two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate it. <laughs> stop it, he's mixing, he's mixing a pot before you go All right, so we're going to try and... You, you definitely have enough rounds to go for a long time. <laughs> Joke's on you, my pants are armored, Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the the scorpion kind of entry level gel blaster, um, sort of. If you're interested in picking one up, again, the coupon code is Lord Draconical. Huge thanks to them for sending these over. Keep oh, talking. He's, he's trying to shoot it out of my hand. Keep talking, boy. Thanks for watching. I like the way you die, Bobo. All right. Jeez. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Much comment down below. <laughs> Under pressure, you're really bad at this. Fade it out. Come on, fade it out now.